Christina DeLuca here. All right, today I am playing with some of this little piggy's pigments. Um, I have the honor of having one of the uh, pigments named uh, on my behalf. It is called Crescendo because I'm a musician as well, if you didn't know. Um, and it is beautiful. These, these pigments are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the other colors we have are Flamingo and Unicorn. And these are, I believe, now live on the Fluid Art Dash uh, or Fluid Dash Art dot co uh, website. That link will be in the description box. Uh, fluid Dash Art dot co. But uh, those are the pigments that I'm working with. And then as far as the paint colors go, I have a Thalo Blue by Liquitex Basics. I have Artist Loft Metallic White, and I have used this in the past and gotten a little bit of like a cloudy effect. So we're gonna see um, how that works along with the uh, this little piggy pigment and see if I can get a little cell action with that. And I have Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. Uh, this color here is a mix of some leftover paints. Uh, it is Thalo Blue Dioxazine Purple and Mars Black. And um, I think there's a touch of white in there and it kind of makes like a Payne's Gray-ish color. Um, I'll be using that uh, as my base coat and how I have mixed the pigments what I have done is put a tiny bit of um, golden gloss pouring medium in my cup just enough to cover the bottom and then I've added the pigment to that while wearing a mask, always wear your mask, always, always, if that pigment gets in your lungs, it does not come out, it's there. Uh, and that is really not good for you. So just wear your mask and uh, be safe. So golden pouring medium in the bottom of the cup, add the pigment, mix that together until you get a nice slurry going. And then I've added some Artist Loft uh, Gloss Super Heavy Gel. Typically I use golden, but I am out of golden. So I'm using the Artist Loft. And then, so that, that kind of creates like a paint, like a tube paint type consistency. And then to that, I have added Floetrol. Uh, so it would be about two parts Floetrol to that mixture that I made that basically has the consistency of paint, uh, to paint. Um, the, the regular paints, the Liquitex Basics paints are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And then they are thinned until I get the proper consistency with the, uh, my mixture of 90% water and 10% Floetrol. And the consistency that we are working with today. So this is about a two on my consistency scale. I am kind of going for a straight pour here. And so that is what we're going for today. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute, but if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards, and each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube that gives you all of the information that you need, the exact paint, brand, color, consistency, the recipe, and of course, the technique, how to do it, all the stuff I can't fit on a card. This is a picture of the painting in that video. This box contains a tip for that particular technique. And here at the bottom, you have the color palette that was used in that painting. And then these two boxes can be used together as the basis of a two color palette, or you can build off of those colors. And there are 
eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. You can use all of the colors or just some of the colors. Mix and match the bonus color palette cards with the technique cards, and you have more combinations than you could ever paint in a lifetime. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.net, and also at amazon.com. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is lay down a base coat. Um, I did paint my sides blue, but I'm using a different color. I kind of changed my mind uh, in between. So uh, it, it'll be fine. My, my sides are covered. That's the important thing. There's, it's not going to be white showing through. So laying down a base coat so that my paints slide around easily. And I am going to try to reserve a little bit of this for my cup so that I have some of the same color in my cup that I have on my canvas. That is one thing I don't like to do. I don't like to use a base coat color that is not in my pouring cup because then you wind up with little tiny cells that don't match any of the paints in your painting and so they kind of stand out and not in a good way okay my base coat is down and now i'm going to put some paint in my cup i'm going to start with a little bit of this base coat color just a bit i'm actually going to save just a little bit of that uh just in case i need some corner coverage okay I'm going to start with crescendo I want that to be in the center as much as possible um, so the end of the cup obviously is going to be what comes out last and that's going to end up in the center and typically when I'm doing straight pours I pour it from up high and the last color that I do ends up directly in the center but I need more paint to make that happen. There's not enough paint uh, to kind of get that velocity going. So we're just gonna have to use a different method. Okay. So now I'm gonna take some of the phthalo blue and kind of use that to churn some of that paint around. And then I will do the metallic white. Still pouring from up high, trying to get it to churn, of course. It does sink and churn a bit, but just not quite as much when you have the weight of the whole cup, all three ounces even, you know, pushing down. Okay, a bit of the purple. And the Flamingo, this paint is super cool. It's like, it looks pink, but if you use it on white, it's pink with a green flash. But if you use it on black, it's more green than pink. It's crazy. Never seen anything like it. It's super cool. All right. And a bit more of the phthalo. And Unicorn. And the rest of that dioxazine.
and the rest of that phthalo, and I am magically right at eight ounces. Okay, that couldn't have worked out better if I had planned it. All right, so here is the cup. Let's make a mess, shall we? So I'm going to, am I going to spin it? I'm gonna spin it a little bit, a little bit. And I'm pouring quickly, spinning very slowly. As I get towards the end of the cup, I will get closer to the canvas. That's gonna give me more control. And I waited way too long to get to the center of that canvas, or to get my cup towards the center of the canvas, I should say. So there will be no Fibonacci, but we'll get something cool. Looks like I got maybe a little yin yang action going on here. These, the very end of your pour for this technique, paying attention to what's happening in your center is crucial because that is going to become the focal point. All right. Popping the bubbles. So I'm going to just let this sit for a minute and see if any cells start developing. Continuing to pop the bubbles. What I really wanted to do here is, is get these... Uh, pigment next to a dark color and a light color so we could maybe get the properties of of those pigments uh how they react against both of those as a contrast so as mentioned it looks very different when it dries on something dark than how it dries on something light. Okay. So not getting a tremendous amount of cell action. A little bit. A little bit, not much. But, you know, we don't always have to be going for cells, right? I mean, sometimes just the composition is plenty. You don't have to have cells. I enjoy cells, they are fun. They are interesting and cool, but they are not necessarily a litmus test of, uh, you know, or a barometer, I guess would be a better terminology of, you know, whether it's a good piece of art or not. I think folks, when you're trying to get cells, ah, okay, I'm trying to put some paint in this cup here because I might need a little help covering my edges. And typically this works, but there's for today, it doesn't want to. So, 
So I just put a little bit of what is left over in these cups uh, in case I need some help covering the edges and I quite often do. So I'm just gonna get ahead of that while I see if any more cells are developing. Patience is an absolute necessity. Uh, when you're doing straight pours, if you want the best opportunity for getting cells, big juicy cells, you gotta let the cells develop and then stretch them. Uh, that is how you get the uh, big cells. But again, cells are not the end all be all, right? Sometimes I can just appreciate the lines. And when I'm doing a ring pour, I do not want cells, but I get them anyway. So for the folks, the folks who who want cells, just use Floetrol and pretend you're doing a ring pour. <laughs> All right, so I just put a bunch of that paint back into this cup. I'm just going to give it a little swirl so it kind of has a bit more of a blended look when I use it. All right. One more pop of the bubbles and I'm going to give this a spin. Give her a twirl. You do not have to spin fast. My paint never ever flings past the corner of the painting. My corner is here. My paints don't drip past this line. No. Definitely not going past that line. So you don't have to spin fast. It will get there. If you have ever had a painting that was not level and it completely changed on you overnight, you know how much paint can move. Okay, so now is when I'm gonna come in and like this corner is gonna need a little bit of love. And most of this will still get tilted off, but this is a way to get your lines that you might need just in case you can't cover the full corner and when you spin it it will have a very natural look and i'm gonna run out of paint It is okay. It'll get there. Slowly, but it'll get there. <laughs> um, I can just take a little bit of these drippings and kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to run it through just because I was a little short there. Okay. This corner is going to need a little bit of love.
All right. That is looking pretty darn cool. Just want to adjust my center to where I want it. I'm going to give this another spin because it does still feel like there's quite a bit of paint. Okay. Good. And I don't want to lose this. This is giving me great contrast. Super cool and light. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit. And uh, if it's going to do anything, we'll find out. So I'm going to scrape my edges and let it sit and back in a few. Okay, here it is. I was hoping to show you the dried piece, but um, it is not dry and I need to get this up. So this is what we are left with. If I can get any of that shimmer in there. It's very confusing to the camera, these metallics and, you know, these shimmery pigments. But there it is. It was an experiment to see what would happen. Um, but yeah, hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to the uh, Fluid Art Experience where I'll be teaching uh, April 27th to 29th. I'll be teaching you how to get cells without using silicone, straight pores, monochromatic, uh, cloud pour. And um, there will be a trailer after this video for more information on that. But, or you could click that link in the description box below and uh, get plenty of info. Also in the description box, you'll find links to my affiliates and the coupon codes. If you use those links and codes, I receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. And... Uh, also, you will find the link to my website, ginadeluca.net, where you can find my art and music and the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards for sale. And last but not least, you will find the link to our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. Join us there. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. The good times had by most. Oh, also my Patreon. Yes, of course. Uh... <laughs> Join us on Patreon where we do weekly Zooms. Uh, missed this week because I didn't have a voice. That's why there also hasn't been any videos. Um, I was on vocal rest. So I'm back. But uh, yeah, so join us over on Patreon. Weekly Zooms, Q&As. I'll answer your questions. We do a lot of laughing. We have some fun. But uh, I will obviously show this piece when it's dry uh, and varnished and all that good stuff all right y'all that is it for me for today i hope y'all have a beautiful day now go make some art <laughs>